Now that Phasmophobia got confirmed coming to consoles, the biggest question in the community is if the game will be getting ported to the Nintendo Switch anytime soon. Since obviously the developers are aiming to bring the game to more places to be available to more people, so they gotta be working on a Switch release, right? Well, not exactly. Because if you take a look at the console release, there's something I didn't mention in my last video going over the console trailer. Phasmophobia is only coming to the next gen consoles and that's it. Not the Xbox One or PS4, nope, just the PS5 and Series X. And the main reason for that is just a sad reality that the game is just too demanding now. That's right, ever since the game's first early access release leading up until today's version of Phasmophobia, the game has improved dramatically, especially graphically. I'm sure these recent improvements come with its fair share of complications too. It's the reason it took Kinetic Games so long to come out with a console release in the first place. I mean, look how much the game's requirements went up. Plus the fact that downgrading the game so that it will work on old hardware would be far too complicated. So I don't blame them for making the game come out only on next gen. But with this in mind, do you really think the Switch can handle this game? If the devs thought that the PS4 and Xbox One couldn't handle Phasmophobia, and they're far more stronger than the Switch, what makes you think the Switch can handle it? <laughs> I think this is a smarter move because it would be such a hassle to port Faz to old gen, and the Switch already has lower end specs compared to any console out there today. The console's own games struggle now to even get a stable frame rate. Nintendo's just fine with 30 FPS even though for years we've been asking for at least 60. The main reason users have been essentially begging Nintendo for a Switch Pro, because the games they push out, sometimes they don't even work on the console they're intended to be played on. So I just don't see Phasmophobia coming out on the Switch. There's only so much an NVIDIA Tegra processor can do, acting as a GPU and CPU. You may say the small 4 inch screen might compensate for it, since the screen's so small it wouldn't take much to run it on there. But think about the battery life, the online play, and when you hook it up to a dock it probably won't even work properly. It would just be so much bugs and glitches, it's just too much for the team. And Kinetic Games already has their hands tied with the PC version of the game and now console too. Not to mention the broken VR version. <laughs> well, to be fair, I haven't played VR in a long time on Phasmophobia. I'm sure they improved it dramatically, but the last time I played, it played like an old 2012 game. It was so bad. That's why me and my friends just avoided VR and just played on PC, but I'm sure it's better if, since they're coming out with a PSVR 2 version. I gotta try it out sometime. It's been a while. Follow my Twitch, link in the description. Stay tuned for that. But moving on, that's why we barely get updates too. There's just no way this game will ever come out on the Switch. Unless Nintendo finally comes out with a Switch Pro with stronger specs for a Nintendo console, not just some custom Tegra processor acting as their GPU and CPU, it's not enough for this day and age. We're not asking for like ray tracing or something, just something that can run even Nintendo's games with ease and not struggle every now and then. That way, when a third party game gets ported to the Switch like Phasmophobia, we can play it with no problems at all. And it makes it easier for everyone, especially the developers. So don't even blame Kinetic Games for Faz not coming to the Switch. Blame Nintendo for not coming out with new hardware already. The OLED is not enough. Because even Among Us, man, when it came out, it was a hassle. When Interslav ported that game to the Switch, Switch, it was so buggy and that game doesn't even take much to run. So imagine a demanding game like Phasmophobia. Also, not to mention the fact that I don't think the game will do as well on the platform, being primarily targeted towards a family-friendly audience. It might sell a little well considering it'll be a new handheld mobile version of the game, but I don't think much people will be picking it up. And if you're a person who plays single player a lot and depends on public lobbies, I don't think there's going to be much lobbies for you to be able to join. And if I were you, I wouldn't want to play on my own. <laughs> but this is the reason why Kinetic Games didn't even bother to talk about the game coming to Switch in the first place. The Switch's graphical limitations just can't keep up with a game like this, and they know it. Plus the fact the game is primarily suited for online multiplayer and Nintendo is just now getting the hand of the online scene. I don't think servers on it will be smooth too, it would just be another problem that's not worth it. Unless the team has extra time and we can get a better version of the Switch, then it's possible. But for now, I don't think we'll ever see Phasmophobia on the Switch ever. Sorry to say, but it is what it is. It's all on Nintendo for continuing to run such a low-end console. We need an upgrade. It's been almost a decade since the Switch's original release. Anyways, just wanted to talk about this. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new, leave a like for more, and yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out. Stay blue.